The near-death experience NDE of which I had a few mainly occurred at a time when NDEs were rarely documented, much less talked about. It was something I could only talk about with certain individuals who were already spiritually aware, or at least receptive. Yet, it still happened that, on occasion, one would accuse me of having had a hallucination because ignorance was still so prevalent at that time. In recent years, however, the NDE has been not only talked about, but has also been documented and has received widespread media interest. Scientists, physicians, psychologists, ministers and mystics, etc., have all congregated together to obtain a deeper understanding of the phenomenon of the NDE. It is something that many people, such as myself, have been through, and we have been called back to teach and share our experiences with others. By all rights, one might wonder why so many of us have been brought back, while others remain on the other side. This is mainly due to the fact that we were needed to fulfill and complete something significant in our own lives, as well as to honor a special mission to help humanity finally come to the realization that there is indeed no death. We simply move on and continue to evolve in our journey back toward the light. Since people are always inquiring, what happened? And what's it like? I will try to convey what happened to me that led to one of my NDEs, as well as what I experienced from the other side. Please excuse me if this doesn't fit into a tidy chronological order, as there is no such thing as linear time on the other side. Everything is always experienced in the now, including past and future. Herein, I will attempt to explain and recapture my experiences on the other side and how it affected me. I will humbly attempt to grasp the proper words for describing this most lofty experience that had a profound impact on me. The experience in the mid-70s, I was dealing with a terminal disease, colon cancer, where my life was ebbing way until I finally lapsed into a coma in late December. As others observed that I was in a coma for five weeks, then thought dead, I was having a completely different experience. One would look at my body and think that I was unconscious, asleep, with no awareness of what was going on, or anything. Yet, I was very conscious and profoundly aware, because, in truth, we never really sleep, only our bodies do. We are always aware, and active, on one level of consciousness or another. Just the fact that we dream while asleep is an indication of our consciousness always being active. And, indeed, our bodies need to rest, so that we can tap into and experience other aspects of our consciousness and being. The best way I can describe the transition from being alive on the physical plane and the passage to the other side is like passing from one room to another. You do not cease to be or lose consciousness. Your consciousness simply shifts from one vantage point to another. The experience changes. Your outlook changes. Your feelings change. And the feelings were profound. For me, it most certainly became that peace that surpasses all understanding. My transition was gradual as a result of having a terminal disease to a sudden one incurred from accidents, heart attacks, etc. What I experienced, then, was that, as the disease progressed, I got to a point where my consciousness was already making the transition from one realm to the other, being more aware of other realities on other dimensions, etc. Therefore, I could no longer comprehend anything written on a page, for example, because it no longer meant anything to me in my changed state of consciousness. I had already departed from the third dimensional realm for the most part, and my awareness enveloped other things. On the other hand, color and sound became more vivid. But again, much of this was not involving the physical plane. As I progressed more and more in my crossing over, I was aware of being in a whole new realm. However, I never thought myself as being dead. In fact, I felt more alive than ever. Now I was acutely aware of the Divine Presence, the Creator, and spirit guides all round me. There was a profound realization of never being alone, and always being in communion with spirit and other beings in this awesome and magnificent realm. The most profound aspect of the NDE for me 
was that of being completely enveloped in divine love and also being totally free of fear. There was no question that love was everywhere, that I was completely protected, safe and that everything would work out just as it should. There was never a feeling of being isolated or alone. This was a special opportunity to experience being at one with the all, never separate, and never a loss. I knew, with total certainty, that everything was evolving exactly the way it should, and that the ultimate destiny for every living being is to return to the source, the light, pure love. At the age of 20, I underwent what should have been a routine operation, but there were complications and I died on the operating table. My experience was that I felt myself drawn out of my body at tremendous speed. It was like being sucked up a tunnel. I found myself in the universe. This is the only way that I can describe what happened. I was a part of the universe. I could see the earth towards my right, but there were many versions of it. They were all following one after the other, forming a circle, and they were in various stages of evolution. There was no beginning or end to time and they, the earth, just seemed to be different stages of one whole process. I was a part of the stars, and although I did not have a physical body, I felt more real than ever before. This feeling has persisted in as much as I can recall it, but not as intensely as the actual experience. It is as if I learned how it feels to truly be alive as opposed to just existing. I also experienced a profound sense of love. The only way that I can describe this is that it was everything. This seems really inadequate, but it was so intense that putting the experience into words just doesn't work. It is something that I felt so thoroughly that I just can't express the feeling in words. The whole thing was truly beautiful. I then heard a voice which came from a huge bright white light towards the left of me saying that it was not my time yet, that I had things to do and I felt myself pulled back. When I came round from the operation, I was told that I had died. I did not talk about my experience until I was studying for my first degree. A tutor began to talk about NDEs and I realized that I was not alone. This experience has changed my life and most definitely for the better.